YouTube, what the crap's going on? I forgot to move my microphone, but that is now fixed. Um, we are back on the Total War Room 2 Divide at Impera mod Carthage campaign, which has been fun. And uh, we just took Sidemus from uh, Egypt, so the war with Egypt is underway. I've got a second anti-Egyptian army moving through the desert. I'm about to backstab Garamantia. Um, and basically get ready to move on to Cyrene. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and backstab Garamantia and take care of them. I'm gonna let this army get one more turn of replenishment before we do that, because I have Egypt bottled up temporarily where I need them to be. Let's go ahead and uh, move this spy up closer to the action. It looks like we've got a couple armies ready to go that are up here in Amnetum territory. And we're going to be ready to take out the Nemnetes. So, got some new provinces over here where we can go ahead and expand some buildings. Might as well get some military structure built up uh, to help hold the area just in case we need it. So let's check. Uh, we were having some public order issues back here, but now we are not. So, should be good. I think we're pretty much in good shape everywhere. Let's, uh... Go ahead and check for any upgrades. There are not any. Two turns away from getting the ability to build the best docks. Definitely wanting to field an awesome navy with Carthage so that we can uh, extend a little bit of that naval supremacy against Egypt. Might be handy. See if we can get like some sacred band hex eras and stuff like that really like the DEI mod a lot. Um, there's a lot of possibilities in it as far as different stuff to have fun with, just like Rome 2 in general. I really still do like this game a great deal. Um, looks like we are ready to attack the Namnetes. I am going to declare war. I'm not going to call my allies to help. I'm going to encircle and then move up within reinforcement range so I get both armies. So I've got two sets of elephants and a ton of late Libyan hoplites. So now if we attack we get the benefit of two full armies. It's giving the Nemnetes uh, the edge here. Let's see, it's probably just a numbers game. A lot of garrison warriors. Big second army over here with a lot of naked long swords and Gallic sword band. It's gonna be a huge fight. Um, not a lot of naval troops, but 6,351 men reinforcing 2,941. So, yeah, I mean, you can see the numbers are definitely in favor of the Nemnetes, but uh, we're not going to let that stop us. Not at all. Some of their armies are reinforcing, which means we have a chance to cut them off from the city and destroy them on open ground, and that's what I would prefer to do. This is going to be a huge, huge force of Namnetes. And then I'm going to have 40 units on the field as well. So big battle here. This one's going to probably take its toll on the old processor. DEI is definitely more graphics intensive, and with this many men on the field, Rome 2 may start to make my computer hurt a little, but uh, typically Rome 2 will not really put a whole lot of whole lot of pressure on my my computer and its ability to keep up. I mean, we could move in just straight try and crush crush the enemy. Uh, let's go ahead and set up in little zones here. It's gonna take my reinforcements a while to get up here probably. I do want to push as much as possible Got some Iberian Assault Infantry too. Let's put them over here. Cavalry wise, this is not the strongest cavalry that I'm going to have access to. I'd like to protect my Slingers with some cav over here. And I'll put my South Iberian Cav over here. And the Elephants. Let's kind of put them over here too. My reinforcements are going to be coming from way off over here. Let's see where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. I am going to go ahead and begin my assault here. Our 
reinforcements have arrived. Until I see where enemy reinforcements are coming from. Those are just late Libyans, not uh, not late Carthaginian hoplites, so have to be careful and remembering that they're not of the same caliber that I was used to. We got some enemy reinforcements coming in from behind. I don't know how many of them are going to be able to come on at a time because they're kind of maxed out. Yeah, they're only going to be coming on one at a time. <laughs> That's going to be rough. If I kill more enemy units though, they'll have more to uh, to come on. Wow, those guys are moving fast. Looks like they're moving pretty slow to me. <laughs> I'm going to bring my Iberian Assault Infantry and Elephants out here. Actually, I probably don't want to get the Elephants involved in that fight. Let's, um, the South Iberian Cavs not going to be able to do a lot over here anyway. Let's use them to support... Uh, kind of picking off those reinforcing units. All my hoplites moving up. More late Libyan hoplites moving up. I need to get my reinforcements uh, on the way over. They've got quite a little jog to make here. I'm going to try and get in the way of those sword followers. Okay. I'm going to move these uh, hoplites up. I'm going to actually leave them in formation attack for the time being. So that they can, uh, I don't know, maybe last longer, be sturdier. Don't know if it's really necessary here, but we'll see. Let's see if we can rest these Iberian Assault Infantry momentarily before the fight. I have to watch out for my elephants. We don't want them to come in range of any of the Nemnete's troops, so let's keep them at a safe distance. And I want my late Libyans up here and ready to kind of fill this gap here. Are those guys really running? Moving. No. <laughs> I was like, that can't be a run. Okay, I'm gonna run those guys around. Um, We'll be ready to start the assault over here in a moment. Let's go ahead and get into Hoplite Phalanx with all these units. My Iberian Assault Infantry has hit the Sword Followers, and I'm going to move in with the uh, Cavalry to finish this fight. I'll use my Assault Infantry to, uh, to help pin units back here. And they're actually taking a little more damage than I thought they would off the charge to those Sword Followers. That is a General's unit, though, so... Uh, we're going to uh, put them out of their misery pretty quickly here. I am fighting uphill though, that's probably part of the reason. So South Iberian Cav here is going to finish off that Sword Follower for sure. They're not going to be able to withstand that kind of hit. Um, ooh, want to get into Hoplite Phalanx up here before we get charged. I'm going to go ahead and move forward in the Hoplite Phalanx right here. Alright, so we've got the enemy completely pinned over there, and these units ever so slowly moving into position. Let's see, got my general over here. I'm going to let these uh, Leric Slingers fire at will if they get in range. Okay, so we knocked out one unit. Let's get that South Iberian Cav lined up for another run, and let's go see how my Hoplites are doing over here. I didn't get the charge off, which is unfortunate, but we're still going to do very well in that engagement. Uh, we're taking some flank skirmish fire here from up on top by the mercenary Gallic Hunters. It's actually hurting the morale on my hoplites. They're frightened by an enemy unit as well. Let's see. I'm going to let my slingers kind of open fire here. The men are wavering. That unit's just straight up wavering now. That's that's pretty frustrating. I'm gonna see if we can fall back a little. We've got to get those. Um, let's bring this fast uh, South Iberian Cav in and see if we can push these Gallic Hunters back because they are threatening my flank right now. They're doing a great job actually pouring fire down there. I don't know if my slingers are doing so well 
and their return fire. I did not get into Phalanx formation over there, which is a blunder. Let's bring my general up and see if we can do any work, and let's get my elephants started up as well. Got some naked long swords coming in. Reinforcing troops are starting to move in as well. All right, I'm going to use the South Iberian Cav. And, wow, they have absolutely destroyed that late Libyan. Thinking about trying to get some elephants up here into the mix. Might go ahead and do that since it's going to take so long for other reinforcements to get up here. I uh, don't know where you think you're going, but that should not be it. Our general is under attack. Yes, he is, because of his foolish pathfinding. Okay, I'm going to pull the South Iberian Cav out of there now because they're being threatened by a Gallic Longsword. They actually took some javelins there. But we did manage to silence the, uh, the Gallic Hunters, even if it was just temporarily. We've actually broken through right here, too. I'm going to get into a position to kind of defend this. We're taking massive skirmish fire from Gallic local slingers over here. But our hoplites are holding the uh, the line there pretty pretty well. We're going to need the reinforcements, though. I'd like to get these elephants clean around the flank, too. I can get my general there, but there's Gallic tribesmen, so it won't do me a whole lot of good. Let's kind of see where we can get a breakthrough here. I'm kind of just holding the line for now, and that'll be fine. If I commit to this fight, I could potentially get outflanked, and I'd be getting shot in the rear. Though I am considering just kind of YOLOing into this big mess. I think I'm going to, actually. I might lose my elephants, but um, I could always try and send some more up or something. We'll see. I want to get gutsy here and kill a bunch of Gauls. My elephants are going to, yep, they're going to go berserk. But it doesn't mean they can't get some kills. Let's hope they do, because I've pretty much committed them to their death at this point. I'm going to try and push in with some of these hoplites. Elephants, only 67 kills, that's not real good. We're going to need that number to climb pretty substantially if we want to get anything out of it. Other elephant unit has moved around. We can potentially get it into the back of that mess. If we do, then we should be able to cause a considerable amount of considerable amount of damage. I'm going to get more heavy infantry ready and start bringing them up to fill these gaps here. Elephants, only a hundred and some odd kills. This was actually definitely premature. They are berserking, but they're not really moving around much, which means they're getting hit with a lot of skirmish fire and killed. So I probably will lose that unit. Though, I wonder if we get super gutsy here. Oh, I've let my Iberian Assault Infantry just sit here and fight this out without any uh, any assistance. That was pretty stupid. Yeah, there's a whole re reinforcing army that's still trying to get on the map. Elephants over here, not doing well. 146 kills. I'm going to actually try and sneak through this gap. The South Iberian Cav, it's kind of a throwaway unit. It's not very good. Anyway, I'm going to get to some of these slingers. Well, I thought I was. I'm actually not. I'm just going to go ahead and blow through this gap here. And see what we can do about this. I'll see if we can hit these units in the flank with my elephants and then get a rear charge with these South Iberian Cav. Elephants 163 kills. Only four of them left though. Here comes the elephants and then a rear charge by the South Iberian Cavalry. That is probably going to chain route this entire flank over here. If my general has scare, we can drop their war cry. Let's go use that. There we go. Yep, so that's going to end up being a massive chain route. Which means we can break through. All of our heavy infantry is holding just fine over here. And then up here, our slingers are just being a nice distraction, really. I never did help my Iberian Assault infantry, but they managed to win that fight nonetheless. Let's pull them away from that, that nightmare. And let's get some heavy infantry uh, over here to support gonna pull back. I need to remember to get back to that fight, so 
big massive blob there. I got 200 and some odd kills with my elephants, though they are running berserk. If I can get into the back of this mess over here, though, I might be able to make it worth it. My elephants, though, gonna continue to run berserk probably until all the uh, combat ceases. Come on, on berserk. There's a light horse heading this way, but with my guys, yeah, they're gonna take some nasty javelins there from the light horse too. The light horse, though, ought to take some pretty massive casualties. Still no elephants down. We're gonna need to uh, we're gonna need to get this blob on through here, but there's a lot of routing units that are kind of blocking our path still. Okay, let's get these guys back up to the top of the hill. Got reinforcements over here. I'm gonna push on in. The Berserking Elephants are still going kill crazy. Uh, maybe if we just get our cavalry over here for some quick support, we can save these Elephants. Because they are starting to take damage, though they have gotten a tremendous number of kills. And they're now headed towards the back of this blob, including the enemy general, who's in a Noble Horse unit. Gonna get, get my general and other cavalry through here as quick as I can. But they're all caught up on routing units, and it's kind of hard to get out from... Ah, that Celtic tribesman just got loose. It's going to be able to block my cavalry from getting to the back of that, so we're going to have to pull them back just momentarily. Got all my hoplites into the fight over here, and, and up front we've been doing some pretty good wreckage. I hope that last elephant does not die, though it very well probably will. These elephants are actually starting to drop a lot now, too, but they have 350 kills. <laughs> I may have to make an effort to bring some more elephants up to replenish these because these guys did clutch out a considerable number of kills here. Got some uh, inbound naked longswords here. I'm going to charge them with one South Iberian Cav and come from the other flank. They got some nice javelins on me there, but I'm going to get a flank charge on them. It's going to hurt their morale. And then I'm going to follow up with the rear charge and that ought to be enough to take the uh, Celtic longswords out of the fight. Elephants still berserking, 396 kills. Let's see if we can get rid of those tribesmen. Some of my elephants are just standing here. Don't know what that's all about. That's good. This one actually got away. I can move this one back to safety now and potentially keep it. That Celtic longsword got wrecked. At least it should. Yep. Let's bring some of our heavier cab over to support uh, killing these reinforcing units and let's try and get back down here into the main of this fight let's get these war elephants to safety we were lucky to keep them so let's keep them alive and stop these charging Celtic spears got a big nasty fight that's been going on down here for a while uh, dead elephants all over the place that elephant unit ended up getting 392 kills did the other one get that many kills oh yeah so they both ended up getting a considerable number of kills. My slingers have been up here picking away at these reinforcements. All of them routing out that direction now. More reinforcements coming on, but I've got infantry and cavalry now to uh, beat down reinforcements piecemeal. Because they will be coming in piecemeal. My Hapote is uh, holding the line over here fairly well. And they're about to get help from, from the opposite direction. All that's in their way is some Celtic youths. I'm going to get into the back of all these Celtic slingers that have been causing me some trouble. Sorry I'm not getting a ton of close-ups. There's a lot to micromanage here, and I'm trying to do my best to, to actually accomplish that. Celtic youths are going to be gone. Got some sword band coming in, though. Let's see if we can give them a charge with my Hapote, because I'm about to get flank charged. Let's bring my own slingers up here. Okay, get my guys in position. I want to route this main force. If we kill this general over here, we might be able to accomplish that. I'm going to start moving Hapotes to start some rear charges. I'm going to go catch these guys, but then get some rear charge action here. I've sent my general, this is Mago, into the, uh, the noble horse. And uh, my Carthaginian bodyguards ripping up the noble horse pretty badly here. It's like they're going to force them off the field. And once that general dies, we're going to see a pretty rapid drop in morale, I believe. This is not good. Got some uh, 
Got some Gallic Light Horse trying to bust through. It is going to outflank me. So I'm going to engage it. It's in a goofy wedge formation, trying to go for a rear charge, but just gets caught. It's going to get absolutely destroyed by my Carthaginian Cav. Got to watch out, though. I only have two infantry back here, and we could potentially get outflanked. Let's go back and check the fight. Got rear charges incoming. These guys are all free now. My general, I'm surprised he hasn't killed the enemy general yet. Let's war cry again, see if we can get him off the field. get back out here to this fight. Ooh, my cavalry charging ahead of where it should. Took a lot of javelins. Let's get both these cav units back. And let's see if we've got... We do... I have even more cavalry that can hurry out here for reinforcements because we have a lot of uh, enemy units inbound. And we're going to need a lot of cavalry to help neutralize all these Gallic units. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to bring this uh, Iberian Assault Infantry. We've won the fight down at the town center. Let's go ahead and capture that out. I'm going to get my cavalry around the flank. Let's see if we can slam into the back of that sword band. Taking out a light horse here. I've got some assault infantry inbound. Gonna go after the chosen spearman. Got a nice flank charge there. Let's go ahead and pull away. I'm gonna try and run more. Nope. I get away from that mess. Got more cavalry. Now we can start smashing people up. Let's get our South Iberian Cav away to safety. Okay, now we can smash this unit. We got more and more Gallic units coming out, though. We need to lure them. Lure them away. We're about to get outflanked over here, though. This is bad. We need this cavalry over here quick. Uh, let's get the slingers up over here, too. Anything we can get over here quick. Let's get my general. Need, need you over here quick. We gotta stop this outflanking maneuver here by the Gallic Swords or else we're gonna lose our hoplites over here. We've now got this unit singled out and should be able to destroy it and then move back over here to support our hoplites. I'm gonna have to sacrifice this South Iberian Cav at this point. And I need my reinforcements from back there very quickly because my South Iberian Cav is flailing. Let's bring one of these cab units over in a hurry and see if we can hit this blob right here. Right there, those mercenary Gallic swords. Yep, this flank is now vulnerable. It's already vulnerable. We're losing a hoplite. I've got reinforcements that were supposed to be headed that way, but all of them are stuck standing stupid. Let's go! I gave you an order to stop. I sure don't remember it. Gonna get a rear charge that might be able to save this unit, but we've got inbound spearmen. We smashed one of the sword units, but we've got chosen spears that are holding their ground. It's gonna be best to just try and get out of here, though that cavalry is in big trouble now. Over here, though, we've smashed this flank. More inbound reinforcements. This cavalry just can't seem to break loose. They're all caught up. I'm going to try and force them out of that engagement. And then uh, we need to run more rear charges here. Let's get after those Celtic skirmishers. I've got cavalry coming inbound from multiple angles trying to save this fight. I'm going to charge these mercenary Gallic swords here. Just do whatever I can to try and take pressure off my hoplites. This is uh, turning into a fight that I probably shouldn't have taken over here since I have superior forces. If I can get my slingers up here though, we should be in good shape. Uh, we need to bring reinforcements over. I should have done it a long time ago, doing all this piecemeal stuff thinking it would be okay. Probably wasn't smart. 
What am I talking about? Probably wasn't smart. Certainly wasn't smart. A lot of these uh, Namnete's units now wavering themselves, though. Probably due to uh, overwhelming numbers against them. Yeah, so they went ahead and routed. They were doing pretty well over there due to my bungling, but we did kill 7,000 of them. Probably didn't lose too many units here. Should be fairly replaceable. Big nasty battle. A lot of fun, though. Uh, it was kind of easy rolling over a lot of the goals, so it's kind of nice to have uh, a bit of a challenge out of these guys as far as them putting up a bigger fight and causing some losses to some of my units. I enjoyed that one. Hope you all did. Definitely one of the bigger campaign fights I've ever had. Almost 10,000. Oh, there's well over 10,000 men involved in that fight. Almost 15,000. All right, so we did lose an Iberian Assault Infantry, maintained the Elephants, we lost a late Carthaginian Hoplite there too. None of that stuff is going to be too difficult to replace. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and occupy. That'll force the Namnetes back. And I will take control of their city. And destroy their faction all at once. So crushing blow for the Namnetes. Let's see what we got here. Late Carthaginians. I've got seven of those in total. Do I have a... Yeah, I do have a military structure being built up. Let's tear down some of this junk that I don't need. Switch it over to what I will use. Um, and we should be able to retrain in this province here relatively short. I need to get rid of the South Iberian Cav and pick up some real cavalry in its place. The Balearic Slingers, though definitely still being very very handy. Let's take a look down to the south where we are probably ready to... I don't know why Cortana thinks that I'm talking to her at some of those times. Like the south. I don't know how that even begins to sound like Cortana but whatever. I mean like right now I'm saying her name and she still hasn't picked up on it. Makes a lot of sense if you don't think about it. All right, so Egyptians have an army outside of Garama. Uh, I'm going to stand right on my side of the border and dissuade them from moving forward. Let's see, we're five turns from getting that improved dock back there. Which armies do I have up here? Pride of Mago, led by Sana, and we got Mago there. And we've got uh, Hannibal here. I want to take Hannibal up for some invasion of Britannia action. Definitely think that will be a worthwhile venture for him. Wouldn't hurt to have a little fleet up here to escort him. So I think what I'll do is bring Hannibal up here to where he can embark onto transports. And we'll have to convert this into a little shipwright um, as quickly as we can and get some ships churned out. I wonder if Bertigala has... That's just a fishing port. They can only train up a few things, but might be a start. Yeah, we're going to need a fleet to help out other dynasties. Barkid dynasty. I don't want a Barkid dynasty doing that, so let's just take this guy and raise a fleet with them. Libyan javelins, Carthaginian marines might be a cool one to have. They're looking like a pretty sweet unit. Let's recruit that down here at Bertigala, and uh, let's see if we can just get a few skirmish vessels and other stuff put together. We'll be in Javelin Men. There we go, that'll work. We'll just, we'll just get a few ships in training. And then down here we'll see whether or not uh, the Egyptians feel confident enough to attack me. I don't think they will. Let's enable the construction of larger siege engines. There we go. And this mercenary veteran has ranked up as well. There we go. Let us go ahead and end a turn. Got plenty of stuff going on. Should be kind of fun to invade Britannia, see what kind of units they have in uh, DEI. Their units not super impressive in the in the base room too. Not not bad, but interested to see what they did with Britannia in this mod, since they've flushed out so many other factions quite well. 
So it would definitely be nice to see that. <laughs> no, we won't be having an alliance. I'm about to march through and take your city by force. But it's a good thought. Unfortunately, it's not the thought that counts right now. It's going to be the bigger army. Um, here we go. I am going to go ahead and declare war. Yeah. I don't care if I'm unreliable. What's anybody going to do about it? Let's see. Get some ladders going. It's giving the Garamantians pretty, pretty standard or pretty good odds here. We'll see how long they last under a siege. I don't think they're going to do so well. We have finished our research, which means we can go for more. Uh, potentially unlocking at Royal Barracks, but that is going to take some serious time. But it would be cool to do. That way we have access to the coolest units as early in the campaign as possible. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, a lot of time and investment there, because I think it cost me 800 per turn to do just the research for that matter. Let's go ahead and crank out a ship right here. And build up the little fields there. Good. Another eight turns, though, till I get my military facility um, in Celtica. Might not hurt to go ahead and just build the better barracks down here since it takes ten turns to complete. So, do you believe I'm just about out of time for this? Let's go ahead and end the turn and see if Garamanthia attacks. If they do, be happy to give them a beat down with my, my awesome pikemen. <laughs> Looks like Egypt trying to end around me there. While I'm taking care of Garamanthia, I'll swing my other army around to intercept them. Typical AI behavior. Look for an opening and run, run, run. Not a bad idea, though. Doing something like that would buy Egypt time since I'm advancing on them. I don't think the AI did it to be smart, but... It is actually going to buy them some important time. Garamantians are going to attack me here. I don't think that local hunters, garrison spearmen, and African tribesmen are really going to stand much of a chance, but we will give them the opportunity to see. I haven't had pikes out since our war with Rome. <laughs> Look, they've got some chariots there too. Very cool. Garamantine chariots, it looks like. Cool looking unit uh, cards and stuff that's been put together here. Very well done by this DEI team. I believe this is where I have some either Peltist or Libyan Thurio spears. They ought to be very handy on the flanks. Especially against all these light Garamantine troops. Heavy cavalry advantage falling squarely with my men. Heavy infantry advantage also going to fall with my men. I'm going to have more Romanesque type troops in this with my main line. Um, they'll kind of be the flexible piece that works around my more rigid pike core. So I'm hoping that my Pike Corps holds in the center and then uh, lets my Romanesque type troops be more successful on the flanks. That would be my goal, at least. I'm going to go ahead and take all these guys out of formation attack. These are Libyan Peltist, not, um, not Thurio Spears, so I'll remember that. What do we got here? We got a Libyan Cavalry too. Do a little harassment with them. Keep my general centered up. Alright, let's get things underway here. Go ahead and start moving up towards the Garamontians. I do not have long range skirmishers, so they will have that advantage. I will have to push the attack on them. My pikes will be relatively slow when it comes to attack. I'm going to fast forward a little. The movement is painfully slow in this mod. I know, I, I think there's a mod that speeds it up. Here comes all the reinforcing troops. We definitely don't want them to form a big line and get around us, so I would like to go ahead and try and push an engagement here. As I feel like I have a pretty African horse skirmishers. Let's take our Libyan cab to get on their flank. Let's get our Peltist up on the flank. I'm going to take them off fire at will. Okay, large shield warriors. I'm going to see if the Garmontians attack me. I don't want those chariots to be able to run amok on me. I'm going to go ahead and start s swinging up on the flank here. We're 
we're gonna see how the AI manages to behave here. Actually, I'm gonna keep my general here in case we end up with any gaps in our line. Let's take out those, uh, I'm gonna charge those round shield warriors, otherwise I'm gonna let my pikes just take the charge. They ought to be able to fend off the uh, Garmantian infantry. I'm gonna have to form up a secondary line back here to hold these guys off. Because we could potentially be outflanked by this reinforcing army. What do we got going on back here? Go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and push the uh, large shield warriors and other stuff with my pikes back here. Okay, we've managed to break the horse skirmishers on this flank. Let's go ahead and uh, run a rear charge here and get rid of those large shield warriors. They're not performing particularly well against my uh, reformed Carthaginian infantry. Might get flank charge right here, though. I'm going to have to move my pikemen up to assist. Yeah, I'm going to get flanked. Lots of javelin units <laughs> for the uh, Garmontians, no surprise. Though their main line here is under under heavy, heavy pressure now. I'm gonna go ahead and rear charge these African slingers. Got some Garmontine chariots heading this way. Let's pull them back towards our Peltist. Let's see if we can get them with the Peltist, actually. Yeah, the Garmontine chariots are giving chase. Do not go into skirmish mode. I'm not going to get javelins off of the chariots. That's unfortunate. I don't really know what those things are capable of at this point. Okay. My pikes getting out flanked here, but should be able to keep them safe. Let's go ahead and push up. Kind of create a new front. Save the javelins on these peltists, we're gonna need them. Let's take our skirmish cab around. Uh, my peltists need to get out of here, I don't know why they're there. Because I took them off skirmish, probably. Yeah, these guys are getting eaten up. Their uh, horse skirmishers just went headlong into pikes. I think we've got the Garamontians where we want them. Let's just get my peltist out of that fight. Got some uh, garrison spearmen chasing my cav. Let's chase away these routing units. And let's wheel up on this flank over here. See if we can get a side charge here. Got a little bit of wavering going on here in my pikes. I wouldn't call it wavering, but they're, they're getting shot and outflanked by a lot of different units. Let's uh, see if we can hit some of those African tribesmen. Just keep my cavalry on the move. I'm gonna get this cavalry unit through into all these local hunters. And let's hit these large shield warriors since they're technically getting a flank bonus on me here. I should be able to get a nice charge there with my general and take them out of commission. Got a lot of javelins inbound here. They're actually using flaming javelins. Need to keep my cavalry moving. Garmontine chariot, or no, there's a local horse skirmishers. I don't know where the chariots have ended up. Hopefully on the front of my pikes. That's probably good news. Wish I could keep you all some close-ups. I can't keep up with everything here, though. It's too many units. Okay, I got spears. Spears chasing my cavalry here. Need to get away from that. Let's just throw my Peltist into melee combat here just to keep those guys busy. Got a lot of wavering amongst the Garamontians at this point. Yeah, getting my cab into those back lines there caused a massive chain route at this point, so basically just uh, Garamontians fleeing the field everywhere. Yeah, there we go. So it's going to be a big victory. The Garamontian chariots actually did not get any kills in the end. We killed 3,000. Garmontians for relatively low losses on our side, so feeling pretty okay about that.
kind of like those Peltas. Nice heavy skirmishers, haven't used them yet on the game. I'll definitely work to get you all some more close-ups in the next one, but those ones where we have a ton of forces, it actually gets kind of difficult for me to keep an eye on everywhere at once without getting all my guys killed. And Though the fighting isn't fast in DEI, um, if you get out flanked, you can lose your unit really quickly. So it makes sure that I have to stay on top of where I'm getting out flanked, like those pikes that had some guys kind of get on their flank a little bit. I had to bring in my general... Oh, whoops, I enslaved the captives. That was probably a mistake, but... Might get some... Uh, might get some public order penalties going because of that. Got this little fleet. Let's bring them up that way. Hannibal's waiting to cross to get to Britannia. I think that's going to be all the time that we have for this episode, though I think we can go ahead and take Garama. Yeah, we can we can get in here with relative... Well, no. <laughs> They're still wanting to screw me over on the auto-resolve, so I'm just going to have to maintain the siege. And let's get this army that's kind of over here on the border and work our way back here to cut off the Egyptian army that's trying to get behind us. Hopefully we got some exciting stuff coming for you in the next episode. A couple of pretty large battles on this one, uh, which was a lot of fun, and hopefully more large battles to come. Air of Carthage, signing off for now.